hello there. I've been uh, teaching the Ujjayi breath in my class this week, and I thought it would be a good idea to um, just teach the technique separately um, so that everyone had an understanding of what the Ujjayi breath is. So Ujjayi breath is also known as the victorious breath um, and also uh, comes under the name of the ocean breath as well um, and it gets its name from the ocean breath because it sounds like the ocean the ocean waves crashing on the shore um, and this breath technique is a sound that we make um, using the inhale and the exhale and it's used throughout classes both the flow classes and breathing practices uh, in general it can be applied at any time because it's both energizing and calming so it has this lovely combination of those two elements so it's not a tranquilizing breath so it's not going to make you sleepy but it will calm you down it also has this lovely energizing lift so this ujjayi breath how do we do it well i'm going to explain it to you and one of the ways to do it is um, imagining that you are fogging up a mirror um, on both the inhale and the exhale and what i mean by that is imagine if this my hand is a mirror and i was trying to fog up to write a message on it in some way so i might go <sighs> like that and at that sound at the back of the throat is created by a restriction of the glottis okay it's almost like switching on the whispering muscles as well so it's <sighs> we can also do it in reverse okay so again here you'd be imagining that you're sucking the air back off this mirror okay a bit like i'll do the out breath first of all <sighs> and then <sighs> which is actually a little bit tricky to do with the mouth open and it does sound a bit like Darth Vader as well. But we don't do it with the mouth open, okay? We do it with the lips closed, all right? So just have a go at that now, okay? So close the lips and... Now it's quite hard not to over-exaggerate it when you're demonstrating it, but this Ujjayi breath, should be soft and smooth so you shouldn't feel any strain when you're doing this so just be wary of that but it is a sound okay so you're connecting with the sound of the breath here and um, how loud is this sound well if someone was sitting next to you and you were both practicing ujjayi breath then you'd be able to hear them but probably if someone over the other side of the room was also practicing their ujjayi breath it wouldn't be loud enough for you to hear them Okay, so the Ujjayi breath is used as a focus of concentration through sound. Okay, so we're making this whispering sound, the sound of the ocean, both on the inhale and the exhale. And this practice can be done throughout your yoga practice or at certain times when you want to connect with the breath particularly. Okay, um, so that's the Ujjayi breath. And it's a really lovely breath technique to explore. And I hope that that's clarified it a little bit more in detail. Um, thank you for watching.